Okay, I've already got a serial session open to the firewall and I've got TFTP server running on my laptop so I'm going to copy from TFTP to flash the IP address of my laptop 192.168.1.2 and the name of the file is pix804.bin Okay, now it's complaining because it says there's not enough room in Flash. Let's have a look in Flash and see what's in there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the ASTM image that's in there, ASTM 522, just to free up a little bit of room. Delete Flash, colon, forward slash, then the file name. Yep, confirm, yep. Okay, let's recall my copy TFTP flash. Still not enough room on the device. So what I'll do now is I'm going to delete the uh, PIX722 image that's in there. Don't forget it's running in memory so I can, I can delete it from flash as long as I don't reboot. until the new one's in of course. Okay, and once again I'm going to hit the up arrow and recall my copy TFTP flash. And this time it's a bit happier. Okay, now it will automatically boot from the new one because it's the only one in there, but just as a belt and braces, I'm going to set the boot system to boot from flash and then from the new Pix804 up bin. And just write that to memory and reboot the firewall with a reload command. Okay, let's log back in again. And tap the password in. Tap the right password in. If I do a show run, hopefully it should show we're on version 804. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do is copy in the new ASDM. So some command to copy TFTP flash. And the IP address of my laptop that's running 3C Daemon, which is the TFTP software that I'm running. And the name, uh, the newest one for the PIX is 613. So the other one that's in there is for the ASTM. is for the ASR, I should say. Hmm, still not enough space. I'm going to delete this uh, image old that's uh, obviously been kept in there for an upgrade in the past. Now I'm going to recall my copy TFTB flash command. And hopefully this time it will pull across my SDM. That looks a little bit healthier. Now if you have a look on your TFTP server you can see that file being copying out there. Right, that's it across into flash memory. So I'm just going to go into configure terminal mode and I'm going to set that ASTM image as the new current file to be used. 
and it's stm-613.bin Save that to memory Let's just make sure that ASTM is enabled. Yes, it is, and it's enabled for everything on the inside network. Fine. Let's make sure we can talk to the ASTM. HTTPS, remember, and the IP address of the inside of the BIX. Uh, okay, so self-signed cert, so it'll error, but that's okay. Run ASTM. Yeah, I was trust. Yes. Password. Remember, the username will be blank because I don't I haven't set up triple A. And once again, it's complaining about the password. Hmm. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually, I'm still consoled in, so I'm manually going to set the password with enable password and I'm just going to set it to Cisco in low case. Save that to memory. Right, hopefully I should be able to log on now. There we go. And there's my ASTM, and you'll notice it is running version 804 with ASTM version 613. That's us all upgraded to the latest version. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to stop by at www.petenetlife.com. Thanks very much.